So the long-awaited rework of Torbjorn is here, and one of the biggest changes they had in mind was to increase the offensive damage dealing potential of Torbjorn, and they did this in a variety of ways. First off, his primary weapon, Rivet Gun, had his left click projectile speed increased from 60 to 70, making his bullet travel much quicker, and it's a lot easier to land your shots, making it much more consistent. The reload time was also changed from 2.2 to 2.0, making for quicker reloads, which is always good to have in the heat of the moment. Now for the right click, they lowered the recovery time between each shot from 0.8 to 0.6. This means you can now shoot right clicks one after each other much quicker. They decided to lower the total damage per shot from 150 to 120, meaning your right clicks will do less damage per shot, but you will be able to fire them much quicker. As for Torbjorn's turret, we saw some crazy changes. One of the biggest is now you can throw the turret as a projectile to a location, allowing for you to throw it up to high ground spots you normally couldn't access. That's not all though. We also see the turret will now automatically build itself to what was previously level 2. You no longer need to use your hammer to build the turret up, and it automatically deploys itself after a 3 second build time, and it will start as what we know as the level 2. So instead, the hammer is only used for repairs. This makes it so much stronger off the start, and really allows Torbjorn to be more of an immediate threat who doesn't need to take as much time in order to get set up. They also tweaked the AI of the turret, making it prioritize firing at targets who are hit by your primary fire on your rivet gun instead of it having kind of a mind of its own, making it much easier to focus down targets who you are trying to kill. They also completely changed your E ability. You are no longer able to give out armor and collect scrap. Instead, your new E is called Overload. And when you use it, you gain temporary buffs to your armor, movement speed, attack speed, and reload speed for 5 seconds. This ability has a 12 second cooldown, but essentially it's like what they did to Mercy's ultimate, where they moved it to the E. The exact numbers are that you gain 150 temporary armor, 30% increased movement speed, 30% attack speed, and 30% reload speed. This increases your kill potential as well as your survivability for every situation, and it will make enemies think twice about diving or engaging on you. With the movement speed increase, this also helps you get back to the fight quicker if you're looking to come back from the respawn. The most exciting change for Torbjorn is the new Molten Core Ultimate that gives him 10 projectiles that create a pool of lava wherever they land on the ground. These will literally melt enemies who stand in it, and it deals a ton of damage. The most important thing about this ultimate is that it deals increased damage to enemies with armor, making it deal 190 damage instead of the base of 130. Once you activate your ultimate, you will have 6 seconds to fire all 10 of your projectiles, and each one of them will bounce off walls or ceilings until they land on the ground. This ultimate looks like it will be insanely strong against teams who have heroes with a lot of armor, such as most tanks, but it will also be a really strong counter against teams with Brigitta. You will be able to shred through any of the enemies affected by her rally. It looks like it's going to be a really strong ability to use on choke points or on objectives during a teamfight, It may also be a very effective ultimate against goats, since it will be able to burn through all of the tank's armor so quickly. As always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.